tunnel was for a previous art project where um, I wanted to take some photography in some unusual architectural spaces and um, one of the things that really struck us with the the tunnel though was when I went away and I developed the photographs the photographs were almost pitch black because of the depth of the tunnel and I, it was almost as if the the architecture had a personality of its, of its own it wasn't letting us capture it or try and record it in any sort of way since then I've been back a few times and I've noticed the original quirks of the building so the wooden escalator um, the sounds and um, sort of smells that you get within the space and one of the first things you notice is the colours that are used so you have these very sort of light greens creams which are very clinical almost sort of hospital in the, um, the atmosphere that they create for you when the escalators were working unfortunately they've broken now but you would move towards the entrances of the tunnel at such a glacial pace it was almost as if you're entering the center of the earth it's a very dramatic effect as you're moving towards the um, the transitory space and um, one of the other things that you really notice while moving through the tunnel is the lighting and it's not only that it, the way that it makes the space look, it's the sounds that it creates. And also when you look directly into the light, it creates ripples against the walls and it's got it ripples overhead. So it's almost like the voice of the tunnel is the sounds that it creates around you. The thing that struck us the most is this, um, the way you cross the county borders between the middle of the tunnel. So it's almost a non-space in that, yeah, actually when you're on the line itself, you're no way. So, when you start placing things within this nowhere space, what, how do they exist? What are the rules within, with how they exist? So it's sort of this really unusual place and that's really why I wanted to have my work exactly on the borderline. With this work, I really wanted to try and create a, something that everyone could experience. So for myself, the time tunnel, creates a feeling of nostalgia which perhaps not everyone would have. Usually people who use the space are um, just using it as a way to commute so it's purely transitory. Um, I wanted to try and make people stop and reassess the space. So with Time Tunnel I wanted to create a block within the space so essentially the work creates a barricade for those trying to pass through it. Um, also with the mirrors it creates a sense of distortion within the space because you have a reflection of yourself within the mirrors alongside the architecture which is all bundled, bundled together within this uh, glass frame. It's the hope of the work that the five mirrors turn into some sort of almost bullies standing within the border of the tunnel. So they're standing there questioning why you're going there, why are you wanting to pass, what are you doing within the space. It's also the noise that's created is trying to warn you back. So it's trying to make you feel uncomfortable in the space. So as you walk through the tunnel and get further towards the artwork, the noise becomes louder, almost trying to frighten you back or question why you're there. I also wanted to emphasize the uh, mechanical and electrical side of the, um, the time tunnel. So as I've mentioned before, you have the, the lights overhead and obviously things that are behind the scenes, so like the pump room, and things that the average person doesn't usually see. So for this I've used mechanics such as vibration motors and also a lot of electricals to create noise and to really sort of quadruple the effect that you would normally have in the tunnel just to try and emphasize it for the viewer. The mirrors are shaken sequence, 
So um, the sequence is actually taken from the original plans for the time tunnel. So things like the year the wooden escalator was commissioned, that number, 1954 I think it is, is, um, is made into a sequence and the, all of these numbers are put together so that you have a, a, a long, around a three minute sequence. I think. Uh, the aim of the installation is to try and emphasise the emotional and the mechanical and the social traits that this piece of architecture has. It's aiming to make the viewer stop in taking these traits and not just use it as a transitory space.